And now Kirstine's here with the weather. It was right dreek today. Absolutely, Laura. Very dreek across much of the country. Thank you. Good evening to you. Yes, leaden skies, pl a cold feel. That's the forecast, Laura. OK, thanks, I think, Kirstine. <laughs> now, and from everyone here, do have a very good evening. Good night. Happier lives. Fans of swimming? Well, That's if you could swim outside it? in a lovely sunny day, <laughs> maybe. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, in all honesty, I get bored swimming. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm a... Martin. Yeah. I, th I saw you as somebody that might enjoy the butterfly. <laughs> well, I, I, do you know what? It's a spectacle, that. There's no less elegant <laughs> swimming stroke than the butterfly. You should see yeah, me absolutely. trying to do that. It's worth oh, it. Oh, I'd love to. Tell you. <laughs> there we go. Much, guys. Thanks, Thank Amy. You. Are you see a you swimmer, Kirsty? No. No. I think of many people could have been swimming down the streets in the east of Scotland today. <laughs> yeah. though. Very true. So Good weather for rain. swimmers. It was awful, wasn't yeah. it? Very it's wet It's non-stop today. rain. We still have a Met Office yellow warning in place until midnight, but turning that bit drier and colder over the next couple of days. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at the details. It certainly has been a wet day of weather across much of eastern Scotland, especially this picture from one of our weather watchers. Girls just want to have sun and certainly we did not see much of that across much of Scotland today. That Met Office yellow warning, as I was saying, to cater for further heavy rain continues until midnight. The risk of localised flooding and difficult driving conditions, but generally as we go through the night it becomes lighter and patchier, becoming confined to south eastern Scotland. Following on a lot of dry weather, a scattering of showers in the north and northeast being driven in on brisk north to northeasterly winds. So tomorrow morning then, early, that rain will pull away from the southeast and it leaves behind it a lot of dry weather with some brightness and some sunshine around. Again, a scattering of showers across parts of the north, especially the likes of the Western Isles, Sky, the North and Northwest Highlands, again being driven in on a fairly brisk north to northeasterly wind. The best of the sunshine tomorrow will be around our Gyle, can tire across parts of the southwest. Always that bit more in the way of cloud in the east and northeast with these showers and a chillier feel compared with recent days, highs of around 9 or 10 Celsius. So if you are thinking of heading out to see some fireworks tomorrow evening, it's looking dry for most, still a scattering of showers in the north especially and turning cold with a touch of frost developing. So into Wednesday we start on a chilly note, a settled note though with a touch of frost for many, but this area of low pressure will wing its way in during the course of the day. So a dry and chilly start, as I say, but cloud increasing during the day, followed by some showers or outbreaks of rain along western and southwestern coasts. North and northeastern areas holding on to the driest, brightest weather longest, but a really quite chilly feel for all. That's the forecast. Back to you both. I'll Thank take you. Chilly over wet. Yes, every <laughs> single time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kirsty. Stadium. And now the weather with Kirstine. Thank you very much, Laura. Good evening to you. Well, it's been a thoroughly wet day of weather across Mutton, around 3 to 5 Celsius at best. That's the forecast, Laura. Thanks, Kirstine. And that is Reporting Scotland from everyone on the Lake Team here in Glasgow and around the country. Good night.